All right, so I've been making good headway here, finding good sources to answer my clinical question. Now I want to keep track of what I've found. I could just write down all of the URLs and citation information on pieces of paper, but that's time-consuming and would give me a lot of pieces of paper to keep track of. So a better way to keep track of things is on your computer. Luckily, UNC subscribes to a program called RefWorks that can help you manage your references. Let me start by explaining a little bit more about what RefWorks does. RefWorks can be used to create a personal database of your references, and it gives you a place to save all the citations you're interested in. You can import sources from a bunch of different content sources, including CINAHL, and I'll show you how to do that later on. You can organize your references into folders, so you can make folders for different projects you're working on. And the thing that our students really like is that RefWorks can generate bibliographies for you in a variety of different formats and generate in-text citations so you don't have to type all of that up by hand. I'll show you how that works as well. For those of you that are visual learners, here's another way of putting it. You can get all these resources you're interested in from the catalog, CINAHL, and on the internet, and you can import the citation information into RefWorks, which lives on the internet. So your information is up in the cloud, not on your computer, so you can access it from any computer that has an internet connection. After that, you can take the references in your database and create a bibliography for your paper and generate the in-text citations as well. So if you like the sound of this, you can go ahead and give it a try. And remember, it's free to use, so if you don't like it, you know you didn't lose any money. You can get to RefWorks from the Citing and Writing link under Resources on the HSL homepage, or you can get to it from the Nursing Guide page. Both links go to the same place, so use whichever link is more convenient for you. This link will take you to our RefWorks Get Started Guide. This guide has lots of useful tips on working with RefWorks and has frequently asked questions and other troubleshooting tips if you need them. We also have the link to go to RefWorks right here for you. To set up an account, it's really quick. Just click Log into RefWorks from the RefWorks page. What you'll do now is click where it says Sign up for new account. Fill out this form that pops up. Click Next to go to the second page of the form, and when you're done, click Create Account, and you'll be ready to start using your new RefWorks account. Once you are logged into RefWorks, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Right now, I'm in the standard view, which is probably what you will want to use most of the time. In standard view, you'll see some citation information about your references, such as title, author, and journal. You'll also see what folders your references are in, and you'll see the Find at UNC icon. This icon is really great because you can click on it and automatically get the full text of the article if we pay for it here at UNC. Now I want to take the opportunity to point out a few of the frequently used features of RefWorks. You'll see three buttons along the top. The New Reference button allows you to add a new reference by typing in all the information yourself. This option takes the longest, so I'll show you a faster way to grab references from CINAHL in a little bit. The New Folder button allows you to create a folder where you can organize your references. The Create Bibliography button does exactly what it says it will do. We'll see that in action a little bit later. And finally, there is the Tools menu. The tool here that you will really be interested in using is called Write and Cite. We'll see how to use this tool in Section 6 of this tutorial. Let's go back to the clinical question we were working on. I found some good stuff in CINAHL, and now I want to import those references into RefWorks. I'm going to add the articles I'm interested in into the folder in CINAHL. To do this, I'm going to click on the Add to Folder icon to the right of each result. Notice that when we add things to our folder, the icon changes. I'll add one more article of interest into my folder. Once we've added all the articles that we're interested in, we can view our folder. To see the items in the folder, click on Folder View in that orange box on the right-hand side of your screen. Here we see the articles in our folder. We can check the boxes next to the articles we want to import into RefWorks. However, if we want all of these articles, we don't need to check any boxes because the default setting is to import all of the articles in this folder into RefWorks. In this case, we want all of these articles, so I'm not going to check any of the boxes. 
To send these references to RefWorks, select the Export icon. It's over to the right, and it looks like a piece of paper with a green arrow, and it has the word Export next to it. On this screen, we'll see several options to export our references. Since we are using RefWorks on the right-hand side, we need to make sure that the option Direct Export to RefWorks is selected. It's the one at the very bottom of the list. Once we have that selected, we can go back over to the left and click Save. RefWorks will automatically open in a new tab or window in your browser, and you'll see a message telling you that your references have been imported into RefWorks. If you want to make sure they have imported correctly, which I like to do, you can go ahead and click on the View Last Imported button at the bottom of the screen. We can see that RefWorks saved those two articles on obesity that I was interested in. If you want to see all of the details about the article that RefWorks imported, you can click on the View option in the toolbar, which is the little magnifying glass icon. This will show you all of the information that RefWorks grabbed from the database. You don't need to do this, but I just wanted to show you what RefWorks is pulling out of CINAHL. If you see something that is incomplete or incorrect, you can edit the reference. Click on the little pencil and paper icon to do so. This box pops up that allows you to edit your reference. Make sure the correct style is selected at the top and then make your changes. Be sure to click the Save button when you're done. I want to point out that RefWorks will automatically put all your references that you just imported into a folder called the Last Imported Folder. You can get to it by clicking the Last Imported link in your list of folders on the right sidebar. However, this will only hold the most recent references you've imported. I like to stay organized, so I'm going to put these references into another folder. Click the New Folder button and we'll type in a name for a folder in the box that pops up. I'll call this folder Obesity Education because that's the topic I'm working on. Then hit the Create button. Now, over to the right, you can see that there is a folder called Obesity Education. To move references into this folder, you have two different options. The first is to click on the checkboxes to the left of the references I want to move. Then, I select the folder from the folder drop-down menu and choose the folder I want to put the references in. And that's it! Now these references are in my Obesity Education folder. We can see at the bottom of each reference where they are located as well. The second way to move references into a folder is to hover your cursor over a reference until you see the four arrow cursor, as depicted above, and then drag and drop the reference into the folder of your choice. Now let's say that I'm completely done with my search on obesity education and I want to make a quick bibliography to show my professor what resources I've found. Something that you'll need to do the first time is to check the Output Style Manager and your RefWorks account to make sure that the style you need is on your favorites list. In nursing school, you will be using APA 6th for your papers, so let's check to make sure it's there. To do that, I'm going to go to the Bibliography tab and select Output Style Manager. This screen lets you pick the styles you would use for your papers. On the left side is a list of all the styles built into RefWorks, which is hundreds and hundreds. And on the right side is a much shorter list of your favorite styles. What we need to do now is make sure that our style, APA in this case, is in the favorites list. If it's not there, we can use those center arrows to move the style from the left side to the right side. We can see that APA 6th is already in the favorites list, so we are good to go. You won't need to do this step every time you want to make a bibliography, just whenever you are going to be using a new citation style, which probably won't come up that often for most of you. Okay, now we get to the exciting part, at least for me. I'll show you how you can use RefWorks to generate a bibliography for you instantly. First, make sure you have opened or selected the folder you want, then click on the Create Bibliography button up top. We'll select the output style we want to use. I'll choose APA 6th. In the References to Include section, you want to choose All in List to include everything in this folder. Then we'll tell RefWorks what kind of file we want to make. We have a couple of choices, HTML, Word doc, etc. I'm going to leave it on HTML for now. Now click on the Create Bibliography button. 
since I chose HTML, it's going to open in a new tab in my browser, and I can see that RefWorks created a bibliography for my folder, so I didn't have to type all of this information manually. You can easily copy and paste this text into whatever type of document you choose. 